um dc has uh has effectively announced that it's now new comics tuesday um and uh you know because everybody's allowed to sell their books on tuesdays now um clearly new comics wednesday has a huge branding and marketing value uh for the for the for comics um and clearly we we as a class of of business worked really 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 hard to get day early delivery so that we had a whole 24 hours to receive material and rack it and not try to rush it out to market before the next guy and the fear of you know of losing out and keep and, it in mint um, condition without rushing through the ball right exactly uh so um uh, what is your feeling on uh, on new comics moving to Tuesday and what DC is trying to force you? Well, I think oftentimes we look at it as the publisher, the distributor, the retailer, and we forget about the most important element, the consumer. What will the consumer do? Now, if I am a DC comic buyer only, I don't buy Marvel, I don't buy Image, I don't buy any of the other companies. The question still remains is that Will I run in on Tuesday to buy them? If I buy DCs and Marvels and everything else, the question becomes, do I want to make two trips? My guess, as urgent as the, 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 the consumer can be on a Wednesday for get their new comics, they're probably going to wait till Wednesday anyway to get their books. Uh, it'll be a certain... Now, on a retailer level, having been a retailer, and I think I was one of the first guys that did the subscription service back in the early 70s, I know that's a pain in the butt to have to do it twice. If you got your DCs laid out on Tuesday, you go through the whole pull box or whatever, and then on Wednesday you got to do it again. It's going to be, but the consumer has really got to be taken into account here. What is he or she going to do as a result of Tuesday? Now, anything can happen. It could be all the other publishers decide they'd want to ship on Tuesday too. Diamond's going to do whatever the masses. But for right now, I think our mindset is we're going to ship on Wednesday like we always have. And even though we'll now have competition that will put the books out on Tuesday, uh, see, I always thought you know, we, we all have these customers who have a big pile in their box that never comes in and pick. They, keep, they, they buy more than they can afford, so they keep piling up. By the way, that, this has probably been a good time to try to get that cleaned up. But sure it, what always amazed me is the guy that has to come in on Wednesday in his books to do what? To go home and set them in a pile? Is he, is he really reading them all Wednesday night or is, can he have the time to read them all? So we get caught up in a pattern that we sometimes don't stop to analyze. What are we really doing here as the consumer, as the retailer? But you as the retailer, you guys are at the front line. You take all the risks for all intents and purposes and you got to always play with the hand that's dealt you. So if it involves Tuesday and Wednesday as a two day system, then you're going to have to decide whether you're going to tell your customers they're available on Tuesday or Wednesday. If you think that your customers who buy all the titles are going to come in twice, I think that's probably not going to happen. My, my gut feeling. But Quick you question. A person who only buys one company and it's DC, they, they may want to run in and get them. And then you're going to have to decide, you know, is that going to be a extra work for you? You'll probably do it because you want to make the customer happy. That's what the job is. That's what we're trying to do. But it's really, it's really uh, thrown a curveball into the system a little bit because for 25 years it's worked one way, and whether you like that or don't like that, I was found back in in the pre-exclusive days when there was 20 distributors. Believe it or not, when I first got there was 20 distributors. They started the infamous made no sense air freight wars. All that money that was spent on air freight and the ulcers that were occurred. So once in a while, you were first. Good for you. But what about the next week when you were not first? So the trade-off, and this is one of the, I'll be prejudicial here, one of the advantages of the one-stop shopping is that you weren't first, but you were never last. You were equal. You got Everybody got their books on Wednesday, and that seemed to get rid of a lot of waste, money that couldn't be afforded by anybody only people benefited from that was the air freight companies. And so similarly here, I think common sense will prevail. It's like a shakeout. Eventually, if, we, if tomorrow morning we just pretend for the last four weeks, DCs were on Tuesday and everything else is on Wednesday, almost by osmosis, people will probably be doing the same thing, whatever that is. They'll be doing the same thing. But it is a little bit of a monkey wrench right now. 
But Steve, do you think the responsible thing for that DC could have and maybe should have done was say, hey, okay, we're going to new distributors, but let's keep street dates on Wednesday. Let's be consistent with all of our other channels. I'm sure, they, I'm sure they have the reasons. I, for one, always thought payday was probably the best day. Uh, I'll give you my analogy of that. Uh, used to be when comics came out on Friday many moons ago, was theoretically payday, not for everybody, but for the most part, Friday was payday. And when the books would get delayed until Monday, the argument was, well, nobody else has got them until Monday, so it's okay. Well, no, that's not true. They might not have had, the other stores might not have had the comics, but they were getting paid on Friday and they had the maximum amount of money in their wallet they're going to have. And come Monday, they went to the movies, they got out to eat, they spent their money. So the game really here is getting to the money first from a consumer. And one example I've been using lately is let's do a hypothetical. You're sitting at your computer and you got your checking account open to your, you know, your, your, your uh, for your bank and it's Friday. And at that second you see a ding and your paycheck landed direct deposit. And all of a sudden there's a little guy on your shoulder called Amazon says, Hey, go to amazon.com. He gets your money before you go out the door. And that's what these big companies are doing now. It's it's all about home entertainment. You can get your food at home. You can get your movies at home. You can get your sports at home. Everything. And they're trying to get you before you spend it. Brian, if you were at a convention and you had the best Golden Age timely collection or DC collection and you're in the back of the room and I come running in with biggest collector there is and I walk up to you and you say, oh, damn, Brian, I wish I'd have known you were here. I just spent all my money in the front of the room. It's about who gets to the money first. So that's another factor. I, for one, I'm probably get shot at it by logistic guys. But if if there was more of a, a day based on logic like that, or how do we get most? How do we get to the pocketbooks while they have the most in them to sell them comic books? And and there's, a, there's been, this has been an argument for as long as I've known about it. And there used to be two new comics days and everything else. I think. No matter what the day is, it makes sense, a lot of sense to me that one publisher should be consistent in their street dates across their channels. And that would solve so many problems for so many retailers and and, and other things as well. Well, again, a brief um, commercial on consolidation. This is another case of where publishers are restricted to, they can't collude, collude with each other or even, much less on pricing, but even on shipping, they're not allowed. The government will give them a fit. This uh, works because we're the middle guy and it can all flow in one way. Yes. It can I'm be sure get to the street date. I mean, don't they get to decide like when their thing would be published, or is that we 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 when we instituted the people that wanted to get books on Tuesday so they'd have time to break them down for Wednesday? There was an honor system based on you know not screwing it up for everybody else by cheating and going out the door. Who knows? It probably still happens somewhere, but for the most part, the retailers have been well behaved, they've accepted the fact that the trade off for what a little bit of extra business they might get wasn't worth risking th th what they had we, we we also we also pay four dollars a four dollars a week for a secret shopper don't forget say that again we also pay four dollars a week for the secret shopper we get secret shopped to, to make sure here to make sure that we're not breaking we actually have to pay for that and that's a thing that that we're paying for if you, if, if you didn't remember that i mean to, to be fair though he was referring to before, before it was instituted, there was an honor system involved, and oh, we sure, were no, both. Absolutely, I just wanted to make yeah. sure that that you know that that wasn't lost. Yeah. In the, 